Legend of Total War here with part 26 of my Total War Attila the Last Roman Roman Expedition Let's Play Campaign Vidi Vidi Vicky. Alright, uh, previously we went to war with the Frankish Kingdoms after, I guess, f dealing with the last of the uh, Burgundians. They're still around, but um, they're not of our concern now. It's up to the Empire to deal with it. Alright, so we have the opportunity to come over to Paris and attack it. Now, there are some armies nearby. They're not really a huge concern. But inside of this, uh, the garrison of Paris is actually quite large. It would be better, I think, if we did it... Wait, that's John the Armenian. If you could... Oh, fuck. Do a night attack, I was going to say, but he doesn't quite make it. Oh well, this is no big deal. We can still move forward. I thought we would be able to make the attack. These guys here are not strong enough to be able to take us on here, so I don't think they'd give it a shot. Now, I don't mind if one of them are inside the city when we attack. I don't really want to fight them if they're outside the city, because it's harder to wipe them all out. In the If they're in the city, all you have to do is defeat them, and then they all die. If they're outside the city, then you know they could end up breaking off very early and run away. It's just tedious. I'd like to just get them all in one go. Okay, and over here. How can I serve the people of Rome? This army is no longer free. No longer free upkeep. But I think that was a, like a turn of go that they st uh, Justinian stopped paying for it. But we can, we can actually afford to pay for it now because we reached a point very recently where we had so many armies and they were all just growing and then it just suddenly reached a point where all of them just funneled in a heap load of cash and everything just became affordable. And so we've even been able to upgrade the units. I probably want to switch them out for some crossbows, which is why we need a military... what the fuck? Military building. Mustard tent. You need to get a mustard tent and then you need to get... You need to get to Ballastarii. If you want... Uh, what's it called? I uh, know you need to get the veteran reenlist uh, uh, reenlistment if you want Ballastarii. This, I do want that, but I'm not sure if they're any good. Whatever, it doesn't matter. How can I serve the so I definitely will build that there. Yeah. Okay, but in the meantime, let's go kill. Sizable force inside the city, all of which doomed to die. Engine 82. Same, same cost. It must have the same level of cutting. Doesn't matter. Would be an easy order to resolve, but of course we have to fight every battle manually. So we've reached the point of the campaign where we can afford to, to keep four armies of of the most available economic sort of forces that were that are available to us currently. Um, I'd like to upgrade them further so I've got even more professional units. That will require more money, but we've got those essentially economic expeditions. They're just going to sit there, keep funneling money, so that these guys basically can't be defeated. And at the end of the year, we'll be given another army, which will be free. For a few turns, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to pay for it on the long term. Uh, it doesn't matter, I'll worry about that when we get to it. No fucking sandstorms. The ash just stopped falling from the sky some time ago, so that's also been good. Alright, where are we going to attack from? Reinforcements coming from... Oh, why does that always happen? Um, reinforcements, uh, reinforcements coming from over there. Alright, they'll probably come out and fight us. So we'd want to get our... Re hang on. Reinforcements coming from over here. So we should set up in such a way that they can get to us quickly. I don't want to use that one in this battle. Stay out of it. Okay, I'd like a, a skirmish early on. Preferably use up their missiles. Get rid of uh, that watchtower and possibly even burn the whole area. If we can reduce their stats, that should make a big difference for a battle where there's a lot of units. 
to fight. Not a good idea if you speed things up. Or else it'd be a good idea if we... Hang on. Oh fuck, I always put the spears on the wrong side. Can we... Okay, the area around it's starting to burn. Doesn't look like it did much. Okay, hang on, hang on. Shoot right in there if you can. Yeah, keep the spears over this side because that's where the cavalry is going. Okay, a bit of a fire started, not heaps. Starting to get damaged. Man, it'd be great if I could hit straight into this here, this big blob. Burn them all. A lot of cav over here. out of it, you charge in there. Good, they've been shot by, by slingers as well. You guys getting any kills? A couple here and there. How's that going? Burning. A little, yeah, whatever. You guys might benefit from being in Testudo. These guys are still going to take a bit of time to get here. Okay, I want you to pull back. Oh, what the fuck's going on over here? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, it's friendly fire is what's going on. Fucking friendly fire detection in this game is shit. Get the fuck out of there. Fucking idiots. The enemy's tower has been destroyed. Okay, pull back. Get in there. You get in there as well. Oh, shit. Uh... That's okay, they're in Testudo. Going so well. That didn't go so well either. Charge into them. Where's the infantry? Oh god, they're still a while off. They're being extremely aggressive on this one. to route that would be good we're we going over here seems to be winning all right I want you to charge in the back of these camels here before they charge into the back of us you come over here help fight right, you're the general oh you're not I mean you're a general but you're not the general get over here the guys over here they're, they're handling themselves all right how's how are these cav going what are you doing? Go fight them. Can't honestly say this is going fantastic, but it's not going badly. I mean, just looking at it, our guys are holding out pretty well. Considering essentially these, this army here is just not going to show up at all. Testudo, they should be fine. Yeah, these guys can hold out much better than the old Limitani. Uh, you two, Kev, you'll bet much better than those units there. You hold out quite well. The enemy are losing their advantage. These two over here aren't holding out so well. We've got to send in some reinforcements. You two, go in there, crash into them. I can't replace them just yet. I will be able to soon, though. Okay, that's it. Come on. Get rid of them. Where are these other cav? Oh, shit, shit, shit. Shit, shit, shit. Taking a lot of damage over here. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. 
Get him out of there. Nah, no, they're fucked. They're gone. I don't know what the hell happened to them. I think it was these... These javelins or something. They're fucked. That's okay. They're replaceable. Well, they will be replaceable soon. I just need to build that military building first. Oh, crap. Uh, I think it's replaceable. It's alright. It's not dead anyway. It'll be a while before these guys have another fight. Alright, all cavalry, charge over here. The problem is with this battle is that I'm the attacker, but I'm defending myself. I should have pulled myself further back. And allowed my reinforcement to show up. Because they just these guys just didn't get a chance to fight. If I had a chance to use these guys, they would have just done so much better. Oh fuck, what the hell are you doing there? It doesn't matter. Replaceable. Bit of a mess. Yeah, this is definitely not the finest hour here. This battle should have been easy. But overall, it's not really going to damage us. Let's push through over here. What are you doing? Getting killed? Oh, you're trying to get rid of those fuckers. Yeah, of course. Oh, my guy's over there routed. That's okay, I'll be replacing them soon. Okay, slingers do not need to be fighting in melee. Okay, let's charge into the back of them here. Chase them down, get rid of them. You, you reckon you can take on those distant tribes? Tribesmen? No, probably not. Probably won't need to. Once he dies, that'll run away. They get slaughtered. Get back. These, these mounted javelin men, they're pretty damn good. They're always slaughtering my men. Their general is dead. A lethal blow. Probably give us a close victory on that one. No decisive victory. Definitely not my finest hour. We've got a lot of really badly damaged units. Problem with this battle, of course, not evenly distributed casualties. But it's not going to slow us down. I mean, I don't really care if those guys got killed. I'll be replacing them soon. Yeah, we definitely lost some units. So I lost uh, units. I lost three units there. These guys barely... Only the cavalry got a chance to fight. If these guys had met up, we probably wouldn't have taken anywhere near this amount of casualties. But that's okay. No big deal. Ready for further orders. We hunger for battle. We'll still be fine to attack Rusadir. Not this turn, though. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What I should be doing... Is keeping this one over here, because it obviously took the most damage, and you over here. Because they'll get more recovery in friendly territory. And you... Keep looking over this way... For any enemy armies that could be coming this way. Which doesn't look like there are any. Okay, so we lost one of those. Can't be replaced just yet. Not until this is... Wait, no, it's officer's tent. No, I'm looking for muster tent. That'll take two turns to build. We hunger for battle. I won't bother recruiting any more units because I don't want any more scout equities. I'd rather just go straight for the equities promoted because they prove themselves to be much better fighters than these guys. Plus they're much more armoured. And we can afford it now. And I won't replace any of these guys. Well, I can't replace them until I build that building. Alright then. So it didn't go down so well, but... 
easily replaceable. What now? Okay, let's see if we can build anything. We've got seven grand to spend. Probably not going to be able to build anything. Just limited by growth. Which is why we've kept it on normal tax rates. We're not hampering growth. Researching. What am I researching? This that will give us access to Tecmata Cavalry. Okay, cool. So forget about, uh, what are they called? Equities Promoti. Soon we'll have Tecmata. Everyone raves about Tecmata. I don't know if they're hugely expensive, but we'll be getting ourselves a few of those bastards. Alright, let's move on to the next. Actually, I'm just curious. If I come up here... Commander. Okay, we've got some scout equities over here. What I might do... I don't feel like I need these anymore. Ready for battle. At your command. Go pick up the other four, other two from that. Well, hang on, which one? Yeah, pick up these. Beginning my journey for Rome. At your command. And you recruit some more. Oh, hang on, hang on. We can get different ones. We've got Cataphractari over here. These are shock cavalry. So what's what's better, Cataphractari or Tegmata cavalry? Everyone raves about Tegmata cavalry. I think I'm going to go with the Tagmata Cavalry. I know these aren't it, but once the tech comes through, obviously, we'll just upgrade these. Yeah, it'll be fine. Nothing else I could do, so let's move on to the next turn. to move them. Yeah, they just dicked around. They weren't interested in doing anything. It's possible that the Visigoths and the Eastern Empire are actually still at war with each other. You fear us. Oh, wow, eyes. I'm so scared. In Fuck you. And you... Let me see over here. So they're at war with... Nope. Just, uh... They're not even at war with the Sardinians. Well, that's why the Sardinians didn't attack. I was kind of hoping one of these armies might park themselves in Paris. Make them easier to kill that way. Okay, just come down here. Let's see how these guys are going. How can I serve the people of Rome? Commander. Okay, so they recovered a fair bit. Not all of it, obviously. But at Rusadir here, there's... In fact, it looks like they're starving or something, because it looks like they've just taken attrition. There's, there's no need to... To hold back, we can attack this. It's just the garrison this time. No army sitting in front of it. Besieging the settlement. At your command. Hear us, Lord. Let them so let's do this and hand it back to the Eastern Empire. This battle should go better than the previous one. I always have trouble fighting these Eastern factions, though. I call them Eastern, but it's a desert faction, whatever. The, the same culture, roughly. I swear, it's, it's because of their cavalry. None of the other factions ever bother with much cavalry. Cavalry is the key. Oh, fuck. This is level 4 settlement. Ah, oh, whatever. Oh shit, they're not going to have huge amounts of ammunition. Oh crap. But the the enemy are not going to sally out. 
in a battle like this. Uh, we'll be fine. There's not that many of them in there. Oh, hang on, hang on. Do not fire it, Will. Alright, uh, I might need to fire these shots manually. Because I think we'll have low ammunition. Oh, fuck, something's shooting at us. We got artillery, what are they shooting? Slingers. Alright, what I'll do is I'll just put these guys in loose formation. I might want to stay back. Let's continue then, shall we? Let them use up their ammunition, and we'll use up. Oh, fuck's sake. Piece of dick. Actually, it kind of looks like we've got plenty of ammo. So it could not be uh, associated to how many men they've got. Oh, then again, it's going down faster than I thought. Too sure. Look, as long as we make a single breach, then that's good enough. Might be more accurate if I went in closer. Doesn't matter, looks like it only needs two more shots. There we go. Now, let's see if we can smash this. I don't know about this actually. I think that's going to be pretty inaccurate. Oh, forget it. I'll just get them shooting up. On their own. Come in a bit closer. How are we going over here? Taken a little bit of damage. Nothing severe. Okay, because I've got so many spears and there are so many cavalry in there, well, we'll make good use of that in this battle. It's so much easier to attack someone when they're defending rather than attacking because you can decide which units you want to use and which ones you don't want to use. Make sure you keep your casualties evenly distributed. Funny thing is, if I had just not brought the Onagers into the previous battle, they, um... Oh, fuck. You can handle those. Yeah, I don't think they would have sallied out if I didn't bring the Onagers. You should be able to handle them, no problem. I was wondering why they were dying so quickly. Forgot about navies. Oh, no, no, no. Turn around, turn around. The general can easily handle both of them. Okay, so that's one tower down. Now for the next. I said no, bitch. Don't shoot. You're gonna just get friendly fire. You guys proved in the previous battle that you have fucking shit friendly fire detection. Okay, it's another tower down. Come on, fuckheads. Run them down. Good, get out of there. Alright, you've had your fun for the day. Alright, now blow up that. Alright, Slinger's time to use you guys. Come over here, just thin these guys out for me. Good. Doing a decent amount of damage there. Taking out their sword units will significantly help the spears as they come in. Obviously, swords beat spears, spears beat cav, cav beats swords. Enemy units have rallied and returned to the battle. Doesn't matter if we take a few casualties. Might actually be better if they start targeting the Shawia guard. So get in a bit closer there. Try and avoid these motherfuckers over here. 
they're shooting at us. We got too close. Not expecting a heap load of kills, but every kill made could save a few lives. Thin them out a little bit, but not by much. Still, all of these guys should easily be able to handle everything that's inside the city. And we still have some more missile units, but it doesn't matter. Might actually disband them, because I never used them. Although I think they're actually better than the Fundatories. Doesn't matter. Want to send some of them over this way. Yeah, they're not going to stand up to our spears. Where'd they break very easily? Of course, they'd already been shot to shit. These desert mounted javelins, they're a pain in the ass. They've got insanely high powered shots. But they don't have enough ammunition to kill us all. Nor do they even try to run away. Definitely like these guys a hell of a lot better than the Matani. I'm not 100% on these guys though. Because they've got so many cavalry, it sort of makes them easy to kill with spears. What are you guys doing? Keep chasing these guys. Alright, we'll probably there's probably one last unit still in there. Probably a unit of Shawi at guard if I had to guess. I wouldn't worry about this here. Shattered good. Start bashing through this and you need to make your way over here. You guys. Make your way over here. Okay, this should be captured. Oh, hang on. This needs to be destroyed. Unless... Yeah, no. You need to destroy this, or else it's going to go through tower after tower. The enemy, enemy troops have breached the walls! None of them are even in the orange. That's what you want to see. Casualties nicely, evenly distributed. They'll be done before these. Good 
get your ass over there. And kill whatever fuckhead's lying around here. This kind of shit here, that pisses me off. Uh, this kind of pathfinding issue really needs to be fixed for the next total war. Yeah, shall we, a guard? No problem. We'll take it out. I've already got them surrounded, pretty much. You could push through just a little bit around their back. Uh, it's not even really needed. So they held up pretty well against the Matani, but our guys here, no chance. I actually think that went really well. Apart from what happened to this unit of Fundatories. But everything else went well. You have further orders. Good. And now the uh, Eastern Empire just needs to hold on to it. Oh, good. I was hoping we could get into their territory over here. To stop rivalry penalties. Next turn, you'll be able to recruit those units that were lost. As we approach the heart of, well, I think we already gutted the heart of the uh, the Berbers out. So it's more like the dregs. Nothing there. Okay, they don't have much. Replenishment plus a certain amount, that would be useful. Uh, let's see. Reduced upkeep cost. Uh, it's not, doesn't really make that big of a difference. I want to try and get down to here. So grab that and grab the zeal. That'll help with integrity. Not that these guys have an issue anymore. What does Rome require of me? Okay, now over here. Ready for battle. What does Rome require of me? Okay, so we can definitely do a night attack. If we do a night attack, we probably only have to worry about the garrison, I think. Looks like it. So that excludes 4,000 men from the fight. It's just that if we give these guys the chance to get inside the city, it could mean hell to pay. We can't kill... There's, these guys won't be in charge of... The battle, meaning if we kill them, it's not going to make a mass rout happen. Plus, they've got some pretty decent cavalry here. So I think I would prefer to do a night attack. Yeah. Th means John the Armenian's not going to show up, but who needs that Armenian fuckhead? Historically, he should be dead by now anyway. Not going to be alive. But I need him. Because I don't want to put any other shit general in, in his place. But if that's all we're up against, it's not much. The only thing I have to worry about are those Germanic archers. They're a pain in the ass. Still, my crossbows will make short work of them. No. No! Good. Alright, no reinforcements this time. If anything we could do is actually cross over here and then come up this way without even having to um Actually that would be interesting. We could do that. You know what I might even give that a shot. We'll still assault from here we'll still have a bit of a skirmish here, I think. But these guys I want them to cross over. They cross over from here come around and actually charge up this way. See how we go with that. I don't want the cavalry to go with them. Oh, no, 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 stop. Don't shoot. 
Okay, I'm not overly concerned about how we spend the ammunition. Just create a breach. Yeah, there's no wall there. We could just go come straight up here. I doubt they would have blocked that off. And go straight for their... Their town square. And I'd only have to contend with these towers here. But that wouldn't take very long to blow them up. Good, 100% accuracy. That's unusual. I was kind of hoping they'd stay there so we can kill them, but no such luck. One more shot. Definitely could be more efficient if I did it myself, but I'm not overly concerned. I think the fire effects look better at night. The enemy's walls have fallen. Okay, I think I might chuck a volley into the city, start burning it down a little bit, just to make him a little bit weaker. Okay, also, the archers have shown up over here. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it does weaken them. Probably should be aiming for one of the towers, but like I said, I'm not fussed on this battle. Okay, looks like you've killed some of their archers, that's good. Okay, you guys need to get ready to attack. Okay, um, let's see here. So we destroyed 4% of the city. I wouldn't mind chucking one more volley over here. Oh, you completely missed your butt fuck. Could have been aiming for the wrong thing. Just don't get too close, don't get too close. Fuck. They're almost ready to attack. A unit has used all available ammunition. All right. Hopefully, they can get us a couple more percentage. Right, you guys come in. Doesn't matter if you get thinned out a little bit. Then again, don't forget there is two armies waiting outside the city. Yeah, actually, thinking about it, those archers will tear us apart. Pull them back. Alright, I want you guys to cross over the bridge here. Time to make the attack. While these guys are still stuck here, we'll come and capture this. And these shit for brains are going to hopefully just stand there. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Turn back, turn back. Send one unit over. Just one. Shit, did I... Fucking hell. I selected them all. Okay, that didn't work out quite so well. Like, artillery on the bridge can be a massive drag. Oh, it's just Bastion on a jump. Oh, don't worry about that so much. Look at that, they're burning their own city down a little bit. Oh, shit. Get over here and get into Testudo. Okay, so this plan here did not go quite as well as I was hoping. Holy shit. Okay, well, it's replaceable. Hey, look at them broken. Nothing remains of this unit now. Why aren't these being captured? Well, there's nothing wrong with experimenting, but I'd say this this particular plan was not very good. Is no more than wreckage now. Units 
Tanks have been rallied. We are capturing a victory point. Yep, and we just want to stop them from from attacking us. They've got a lot of skirmishes. Um, what are we doing with you? I'm not overly fast. Every one of these units here are, are replaceable. In fact, the replacements would probably have more experience. This victory point belongs to us now. So we just need to hold out a few turns. Ah, not turns. A few, few seconds. Now we're the ones defending. Yeah, just experimenting with a new type of tactic wasn't really very good, I think. Probably could have worked if I wasn't rushing it. Just the doing it on four times speed, but that's advantage. okay. Okay, quick, get into up here and get into Testudo. Oh, they want to come up here with those. After all, this is their capital as well. The damage to these guys is, is fine. It's just that one unit that got annihilated. And there we go. Let's just see if we killed more than they did. Than they, yeah, yeah. So we we killed more of them than we lost. You got to count all of those are dead. So it's a good battle, but it could have gone better. Could be really good if I send a heap load of like really heavy cavalry across. That might work. So that unit was destroyed, but it's no big deal. I can recruit more of those. Ready for battle. So if we look at Paris, okay, it starts off with a bit of garrison. What does Rome require of me? Okay, Advance. they do these guys have any artillery? No. If they don't have artillery, then all they can do is besiege it, I think. Possibly. Ready for battle. Beginning my journey. Actually, I need I need you both here. They'll take rivalry penalties, but that's okay. At once. These guys aren't going to be able to move because they're in the enemy zone of influence. I want to make sure we, we uh, reinforce as close to these guys as possible. Toy X Men. These are infantry killers. They're definitely better than them. Especially now that I, I really do think that those are crap in comparison to the Foderati. They have less missile damage, though. Less hit points. Less armor. Less melee defense. But it's all about that melee attack. Ah, it doesn't matter. Just keep it standardized. Okay, let's move on towards... Well, we're going to deal with these guys here first. Funny thing is, I probably could attack them. But I'm interested, interested to see what they're going to do. You're recruiting, aren't you? Yeah. Alright, so let's see what we can build. Commander! Yep, that'll provide a bit of cash. Sounds good. Well, that's all we can do. So let's move on to the next turn. At least he failed. It's good they're sort of hitting the enemy agents. Oh, sorry, hitting my agents instead of my generals. Now, they're not interested in fighting. They just want to get out of there. Cowards. Darkness gathers. And you can be the light for my people. I ask humbly for a treaty. The only light I'm going to be for your people is bringing an absolute flaming inferno into through your lands. So, so fuck you.
Then again, there was a bit of money in it. Oh, they can afford more than that. Cowardly bloody Franks. Pay him off. Don't want defamation. Okay, so now we can see what's going on over here. There's quite a few forces over here, but they're not that strong. We should be able to handle that quite quickly. So, uh, yeah, we need to get over there quickly, though. It's not that urgent. Especially since we've got our upgraded units. And actually, we've got access to Tecmata Cavalry now. So if I have a look over here... Alright, what's the difference? They're Tier 3 Cavalry. 67 melee attack, 32 melee damage. They have no ammunition, which I probably like. Melee damage is the same. Charge bonus is a little bit higher. Melee defense is higher. Armor is less. A little bit extra health. Much more morale. Same speed. I don't see why everyone raves about Tegmata Cavalry then. Huge amount of increase in cost. For really not much extra benefit. I'll still get them, but uh, I'll do that next time. So that's the end of this episode, guys. So like and subscribe. Part 27's next. Don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.